Do you have work today, Jack? The work starts from noon today. Aren't you supposed to be at school? I caught a cold. Oh, get some rest, okay? Yep. But today's your birthday, so I wanted to greet you. Huh? No, I guess today is my birthday. I can believe you forgot. Thanks. Don't forget your own birthday. That's sad. You're 20 now, right? Now? 18 is the age of majority now, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. I want to grow up already, too. But I, on the other hand, want to return to elementary school. <laughs> Being a doll is so much better. You get to do whatever you want. Being an adult is not that easy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did Mom greet you already? No, not yet. Oh, really? You know how she is. She must have forgotten. Uh, do you and Mom not get along? Do you guys still argue? We don't argue. But, but didn't you leave home because of a fight you had with Mom? I didn't leave home in that sense. But you two were shouting. I heard it. I guess we did fight. But I left so I could have my independence. Everyone leaves the house they grew up in eventually. Really? Everyone? <laughs> Maybe not everyone, but I wanted to leave and live on my own as soon as possible. I want to be independent. So you're saying you wanted to be able to live on your own? Yep, which is why I found a job as soon as I graduated high school. No one can just depend on their parents forever. I was just a bit early. But it does seem that mom didn't like me leaving the house. <laughs> I want to become independent too. That's impossible to just to the child. I graduate high school first at least. So many years from now. I want to get a job and live my own as well. What are you saying? Finding a job is difficult if you don't graduate high school. So you should really go for the sake of your future. Huh? You should go to university too if possible. But you didn't go to university, right? It's fine because you don't need a degree at the job I have now. Besides, I doubt mom would have paid the tuition fee. But she'll probably pay if it's for you. You and mom really don't get along, huh? Anyway, you're still a long way from independence if you're in elementary school. So no need to worry about it for now and just study. Well, come home once in a while, Jack. It's fine with you as long as mom isn't home, right? No, I'm pretty busy as well. I don't really have the time to come and visit. You're planning on becoming a chef, right? Is the training hard? It is, but it's also quite fun. The owners are really kind, and while my tutors are strict, they're not bad people. You always were pretty good at cooking. I love the food you cooked. I wish I could eat the omelette you used to make again. I can make even better omelets now. Why don't you come over to my house during summer vacation? I'll make you an omelette or any other thing you want. Really? That's a promise, right? Got it. For now, just go and take a nap. And when you feel better, go and study, alright? Then you can come over to my house during the summer. <laughs> Got it. I'll do my best. It seems that you've been talking to Tom so frequently, Jack. Yeah, it's not really frequent. Just once in a while. So it's true. Would you please not teach him anything strange? What do you mean by that? I don't want him to become like you. So don't text him too much, alright? Not like me. Did I do something? I mean, I don't want him to become good for nothing like you and leave the house. I wonder why you turned out like that. Thompson is such a nice child in comparison. Just how am I good for nothing? I'll work hard and pay my taxes. I make a living out of my own money now. I haven't been any trouble to anyone and there's no reason for anyone to have any issues with me. But this job of yours is ridiculous. I don't care if you're a chef or something, but I didn't raise you to do such a worthless job. It isn't worthless. I wanted you to get a job that made more money. There's so much jobs you could have taken. You could have become a doctor or a lawyer or have gone to the technology sector. But you decided to become a chef. All the time I spend on you is a waste. I'm just doing what I want to do. You have no right to interfere. What are you saying? Do you know how much I sacrificed to raising you? And then you just leave the house suddenly? Of course I have complaints. I would have suffocated if I'd stayed there any longer. I probably would have even lost my mind. I don't want to live as your puppet. I'm the one who raised you. But here you are. Why can't you just listen to what I say? I had no freedom while I was living there with you. I couldn't even make any friends, you know? Whenever I would go out with friends, you would find some sort of way to bother me. There's something seriously wrong with a parent who destroys their child's friendships. Everything I did was for your own sake. But as soon as you graduated high school, you left. What do you mean it's for my own sake? Everything you did, you did for yourself. Don't push your ideals on me, it's a bother. What? What did you say? I'm grateful you raised me, but I can't accept being controlled like some sort of puppy. 
My life is my own life. You really do care nothing about your mother. I'm worried Thompson will become like you. He's a smart kid, so he should be fine. But can you try not to control him in every way like you did with me? You just end up suffocating if you do. I'm not as tricked as I used to be, you know. I learned from my mistakes with you. I'm planning on letting him develop his abilities on his own. I guess so. I haven't heard anything from Thompson. Heard what? He hasn't talked about you being too strict or anything. When I was still living there, I was barely able to put up with it. I haven't thought about leaving before high school many times. Thompson's not like you. He's not just gonna leave like you did. That child has his head straight. Unlike me, huh? He's going to go to university and get an actual job, unlike you. I see. I'm sorry I wasn't able to live up to your expectations. There's no need for you to come home ever again. I'm not going to help, even if you're in trouble. I don't have the money to let you see. I don't need your help. The salary I have now is pretty decent and I'm working hard. Aren't you just an apprentice over there? Stop boasting, will you? The owner's a pretty good person. He's not the type to give me a low wage just because I'm an apprentice. He gives me a place to live and food to eat, so I'm actually able to save up money. Is that so? Well, he did hire a kid who just graduated from high school, so he must be a nice person. Well, just don't rely on me from now on, alright? Wasn't planning on it. <laughs> Are you still at work, Jack? Today's a day off. What's wrong? Is it alright if I come over and stay at your house? You told me I could come before, right? It's not sort of vacation yet, but is it okay? What? Today? You got school tomorrow, right? Why not come over on a weekend instead? It'll be hard going to school from my house, right? It's fine. I haven't been going to school anyways, which is why I want to go today. Huh? What do you mean you haven't been going to school? Have you been taking absences? Yep, every day for a while now. What do you mean for a while? Since when have you not been going to school? It's probably been four months since the last time I went. You said you skipped school because you had a cold the last time, right? So you didn't have a cold and we're just not going? Yep, I lied that time. Sorry. So you're really not going to school anymore? Did something happen at school? Did you have trouble with your friends or something? Uh, no reason really. Then why didn't you go to school? Something happened, right? I actually want to go to school, you know. But, but I can't. Why? Mom won't let me. Mom? She's telling you not to go to school? Yep. Which is why I'm at home always. Why wouldn't she let you go to school? You want to go, right? She said that if I go, I'll become stupid. And that'll be negatively influencing my classmates. What's she on about? The school is a place to study, right? What? Why would that make you dumb? Mom always says the same thing. Don't become like your brother. Which, which is why she's raising me in a different way. So that's why she's not letting you go to school. Thompson, how does she treat you? She might be even more strict with you than she was with me. She punishes me if I rebel even a little. And she only gives me raw vegetables to eat. Why are you raw vegetables? She says that eating artificial additives will make me stupid. What? She's the one who's stupid? There's no way a child will be able to grow properly with only raw vegetables. My head always hurts recently. I'm always exhausted as well. I want to eat some of your omelets again. No wonder you do. You're extremely low on protein and carbohydrates. You must be low on nutrition. Why don't you tell me sooner? I thought if I told you, you and mom would start fighting again. Mom says to never meet with you again. I didn't want that to happen, so I kept quiet. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. It's not your fault. I'm scared of mom. I don't want to be with her anymore. But mom says that I should never leave her. She must not want to let go of you. She probably won't let you go to school so that you won't get the idea of leaving her. You'll probably notice the abnormality of the situation you're in when she sees what it's like for everyone else. So, we really are a strange family. This isn't something a parent usually does. I know this is eventually, which is why I left. I thought that it would be fine since she was nice to you, but it seems I should have brought you with me too. I want to be with you, Jack, not Mom. I'm sorry. I didn't have the emotional leeway at the time. I was only thinking about protecting myself. I had to do all I could to get away. What should I do, Jack? I don't want to stay in this house anymore, too. I understand. Come over to my house. Mom's out there right now, right? Yeah. She said she'll be late today. Then now's the chance. I'll come and pick you up. Do you know where Thompson is? He's not home. Is he over at your house? You got home a lot earlier than I thought you would. I'm so glad you made it in time. Did you sneak him out? Yep, I rescued him. What was it about you not being strict to Thompson? You are harder on him than you were on me. What are you talking about? Who cares? Just give me Thompson back. He'll be negatively influenced if he's around you. You're the one who's negatively influencing him. You're saying I did something? You wouldn't let him go to school, right? And you only gave him raw vegetables to eat, right? 
Thompson's so thin now, he's malnourished. You know, it's a crime to do such a thing to children. I called the cops earlier. They brought someone from the childcare department, and they had Thompson brought to the hospital. He collapsed from anemia. It's probably because he suddenly felt relieved. Why do you have to tell the police? I haven't done anything to get caught. The people at the hospital are studying Thompson's body. They're checking for bruises, specifically. You think I hit him or something? Quit bowling around. I wouldn't be surprised if you did such a thing. Anyone would doubt it, seeing how malnourished he was by you. You won't be able to obtain custody of Thompson anymore. I'll raise him from now. What are you saying? There's no way you'd be able to raise him. You're just a child. I'm already an adult who has a job. But you're still an apprentice, right? What exactly will you be able to do? My salary is pretty much the same as yours. I heard that you only work part-time now. But you've never raised a child, have you? A child needs a mother. It's true I don't have any experience raising a child, but I'm confident I'll do a better job of it than you. I would make him malnourished for one. Better off having no mother than having a mother like you. Stop saying such ridiculous things. It's not easy raising a child, you know. You need a lot of money. You'll probably run out immediately. I basically don't have to pay for food and rent. I asked the owner and it seems I'll let Thompson live with me. They even said they'll help as much as I can. There's no way something that good can be true. The owner and his wife are pretty kind people. They welcome kids like me who have no home. They said that they'll help me until I can handle things on my own. There must have been some sort of catch to that. No one's that nice to others. There are wretches like you in the world, but there are also kind people like the owner and his wife. This is what I learned after seeing society from my own eyes. Stop acting all high and mighty. Don't steal the only hope I have left. You piece of shit. I shouldn't have had you. Me in the past would have probably been hurt by those words and started crying. I had no self-esteem after being rejected by you over and over. But I'm no longer like that. I was lucky enough to have met good people and have regained my self-esteem. Which is why I won't cry, whatever you say to me now. I'm not giving you Thompson no matter what you say. It's your fault for being such a good-for-nothing. If only you had grown up well, I wouldn't have gone into this mess. So you're saying it's my fault that you couldn't raise Thompson well? You've been failing at this child-raising thing from the start. So why not just give up and quit? You're not good at it. Why do I have to hear such things from you? I'm telling you right now because you wouldn't be able to notice for yourself. You're not fit to be a mother. Both me and Thompson aren't your puppets. Why not stop trying to push everything on your kids and become independent, eh? After that, I was given custody of Thompson, and the two of us have been living together ever since the incident with subsidiaries from the government. I found out later on that Mum became so poor that she couldn't even pay her taxes. It seems that I had more money than her from the start. She's now receiving aid from the government and is now in a mental hospital. I have no idea what happened to her after that. Both me and Thompson have resolved to live from now on, thinking we no longer have a mother. The owner and his wife welcomed Thompson warmly, and he's regained his former brightness. I plan on thanking them for all they did for us someday. The two have no children, so I'm even prepared to take care of them once they're old. Thompson's glad to be able to go to school again. And is catching up on his studies. He keeps saying how when he becomes an adult, he'll get rich so that I can take it easy. I look forward to the adult he'll become. Hey, Lucas. How are you doing? Are you going to be working late again? Yeah, I think so. Go ahead and eat without me. Alright. Should I make you some for later? Or are you going to eat at the office? I'd rather eat at home. Do you mind making some for me too? Sure. But really, you are working a lot of overtime lately. You seem pretty worn out lately. Are you sure you're not overworking yourself? Yeah, I guess you're right. There's just been a lot going on. Oh. I know we don't work in the same field, but I'm here for you if you want to talk about it. I'll help with whatever I can. Thanks, but I'm okay. Are you sure? You're sighing a lot lately. I'm a little worried about you. You're not your usual cheerful self. Am I that gloomy lately? Yeah, even I noticed. And you know I don't usually pick up on stuff like this. I think you're reading less too. Early, Lucas. You can tell me if you need help with something. Thanks, Ella. You're so sweet. You're my husband. Of course I'm here for you. You've always been the type to push yourself too hard and burn out. I know working in sales must be tough, having to deal with your stats every month. It's just a lot of stress to deal with. 
I'm fine. Work is fun. So it's not work? So you're stressed about something else? No, it's not that. Even a job you like can get stressful at times, you know? It's been pretty hectic lately. That's all. Oh, okay. I guess that's pretty normal. Yeah, so don't worry about me too much. I'm just tired physically, and it's showing. You think so? Well, if you say so. But remember that you can tell me if there's anything troubling you, okay? Thanks, Ella. I know. You can tell me anything too, you know. Yep. Thanks, Han. Alright, I'll see you soon. Take care and drive safe. Hey, babe. You still awake? Lucas? Yeah, I'm up. What's going on? Are you done with work? I'm going to take a day off from work tomorrow. Oh? I have to attend a funeral. A funeral? Did someone pass? Yeah. She'd been sick for a while. Oh. Is that why you've been depressed lately? Yeah. Okay. I'll get your black suit ready. So, who's the person who passed away? How did you know her? She was a big part of my life. Oh? Like a mentor? Should I go to the funeral with you? I still have some vacation days left. No, that's okay. But I'm going to need your help. What? What kind of help? We have a new family member. Huh? I don't understand what that means. A kid. He's the son of the woman who passed. What are you talking about? Why would he be coming to our house? He's not a relative of yours, right? Actually, he's my son. His name is Caden. Your son? I... I don't understand. So you were married before we met? You're divorced? Why didn't you tell me? No. He's three. Three? That means he was born after we got married. What the hell is going on? I'm sorry, Ella. I was having an affair. What? The woman who passed was my lover. And I'm the only one that can take care of him. Wait. This is way too sudden. You have a child with your lover? I think my head's going to explode. I'm so sorry. So what? I know I'm asking a lot of you. But this is definitely my kid. It's not like I can abandon him. I'd really like to raise him. Have you thought about how I feel? I didn't even know about the affair. I thought you'd never find out. You'd never get hurt. I wanted to protect you from all this, but... That's not the point! I know, but... So, who was this woman? Her name was Ava. She's just someone who used to work at my company. It was really just a fling. I told her I didn't want to go through with the pregnancy, but she was set on having the baby. I was worried about what she'd do to you if I didn't acknowledge paternity. I did it for you, Ella. You're a real piece of crap, you know that? You're the one that caused all this. Don't try to justify your actions. I really was thinking of you. Ava could get... aggressive. I didn't want her going off on you. I was trying to protect you. None of that is on me. You're saying you want to take care of this kid. Does he even know about you? Yeah, he knows I'm his father. So you've been seeing him regularly? Ava made me. I didn't want to upset her. Who knew what she would do to you? I had to. What's that supposed to mean? Stop talking like you're the victim here. Are you mad at me? I don't... I can't even explain how I'm feeling. So you've been deceiving me all this time. I didn't mean to deceive you. You're the most important thing in the world to me. I just couldn't tell you. You cheated on me and had a child with another woman. Your words mean nothing. Please, Ella. I don't want to be without you. You're not his biological mother, but he's only three. There was plenty of time to bond. I think you would make a great mother. You have no right to choose for me. I can't give an answer right now. Right. Sorry, I didn't mean to pressure you. I need to think about it for a while. Okay. I believe in you. I know you can overcome this. I hope we can put a positive face on this and get through it together. Hey, Ella, are you still working? Are you on lunch yet? I'm on break. Why? Are you ready to give me an answer? 
Do you think you can accept Caden moving in? Okay. Go ahead and bring him home. What? Really? Yeah. That's great. So it's going to be the three of us starting tomorrow. Ella, you're the best. You're a literal unicorn. I love you so much. Huh? Oh, no. It'll still be two in the house. What are you talking about? Huh? What do you mean, two? What about Caden? So you don't accept him after all? No, I'm divorcing you. I'm moving out. You can live with your son on your own. What? Divorce? You are having an affair! That's a pretty good reason for divorce, don't you think? Yeah, but... The other woman died. So I'm not cheating on you anymore, right? So what? I'm not upset with the other woman. I'm mad at you. I don't hate the woman who slept with a married man. I hate the married man that cheated on me. Hate? Don't say that. Being betrayed by the person you love is what's hurtful about an affair. I'm not going to get pissed at someone I don't even know. She didn't do anything to me. You did. No, Ella, it's not like that. She's the one that seduced me. It was consensual, right? Then you're the one that's responsible. I get what you're saying, but... Men are weak like that. When we're tempted, we can't resist. Not all men are like that. What a lame excuse. Then what? I'm going to take care of Caden by myself? I guess. That's what a parent does. I can't do it on my own. It'd be better for Caden if he had a mother. Then why don't you get remarried? Maybe someone would want to be his mother. But I want to be with you, Ella. I can't. I can't just suddenly accept a child into my life. Especially a child that's the result of your affair. I know it's not his fault, but I don't think I could love him. Either way, I can't be with you. You were cheating on me for over three years. You can, Ella. You're smart and beautiful and always think of what's best for everyone. You're down to earth and nurturing. I know you'd make an excellent mother. I'm not worried about being a mother. I'm divorcing you because you had an affair. How many times do I have to explain this to you? So you're saying you would have divorced me for having an affair, even if there wasn't a child? I couldn't say. That's not what happened. I want a divorce. There's nothing else to it. I really thought we could adopt Caden and start a family together. You can't decide that for me. Then what's going to happen to Caden? You're his father. You wanted to raise him. It's not my problem. I have to work. I don't even know how to raise a three-year-old. So you were planning on making me do everything all along? I have a job too, you know. You could quit your job. I'm working. We can manage. Are you serious? I'll never forgive you for having an affair. But I thought maybe there was still some good in you because you wanted to take responsibility and raise your son. I guess I was mistaken. I'm trying to take responsibility. That's why I told you about the affair. You just thought you couldn't hide it anymore. I'm moving out by the end of the week. Just wait a second. Meet him once, please. Caden's really cute. I know you'll love him. If you really think so, he should be a father to him. Take responsibility. That's real cold of you, Ella. Rejecting a child like that. Caden didn't do anything wrong. I didn't say he did anything wrong. This could all work out perfectly if we could just be a family and live together. I guess being heartless like this is why you never got pregnant. God knows best. Ella, please come home. I can't do it. I can't raise a kid on my own. You can't just abandon him because you're having a tough time. I want a divorce. Hurry up and sign the papers, Lucas. I don't want to get a divorce. Then I guess I have to take you to court. Fine. I'll contact my lawyer and get it started. Ella, really. Please come back. Caden hasn't even had a real meal. You know I can't cook. You can find recipes online. No one starts out knowing how to cook. Make the effort, Lucas. I really can't do housework. Remember that shepherd's pie you made before you left? You felt bad for Caden and made it for us. He says he wants to have that again. Oh, okay. I'll send you the recipe. I can't make it like you do. You cooking it makes it delicious, not the recipe. My parents cut me off. I've got no one else to count on. We're getting divorced. I have nothing to do with you. Stop trying to depend on me. You know, I haven't been able to go to work lately. At this rate, I might get fired. But I can't leave Caden alone, and I don't know how to find daycare for him. 
You need to figure it out, Lucas. I just can't do it on my own. Then ask for help from your mistress's parents. No way. They gave me hell at the funeral. I got so riled up, I took Caden and left. I haven't seen them since then, so I don't want to talk to them. You should go apologize to them. For Caden. That's about the only thing you can do to be a father at this point. You don't understand. Ava's parents are horrible people. They wouldn't even help out when Ava got sick. They were almost completely out of Ava's life, then started saying they're taking Caden. I think they're justified. Any parent would be worried about their daughter giving birth to a married man's child. And knowing she was still seeing you? I can see how they would be critical. From their perspective, her getting sick was something like karma. What? How can you say that? You don't know her parents. Actually, I do know them. I went to go talk to them, and that's what they told me. How? How did you find them? I spoke to your boss and he gave me her information. You're kidding. I'm not kidding. That's how I met her parents. I knew you weren't going to be capable on your own. It's not Caden's fault he's in this mess. I was trying to find someone that could take him in, in a worst case scenario. Who the hell do you think you are? You're making me look bad. Is that what you should be concerned with at this point? This is a child's life we're talking about. You're a father. Act like it. But if you'd only come home, we could raise him and be a regular family. You need to raise him, even if you're divorced. It's a lot of work being a single parent, but plenty of people in the world are managing to raise their kids on their own. Don't you want to make up for the three years you went with him? I only saw him a few times a month. Then why would you say you're going to raise him? He's not a pet. I wouldn't have done anything if you were the kind of person that could raise a child. But when I went back to the house to get my stuff, the place was a disaster. The house was covered in microwave burrito wrappers. You weren't even watching Caden. You hadn't even bathed him. I can't do everything perfectly right away. I know, but it was... extreme. So I thought you could at least get some help from Ava's parents. When I met them, they told me you took Caden practically by force. You told them you have custody and you'd sue them if they tried anything. They were ridiculing me. You can't blame them for being unhappy with you. You got their daughter pregnant with no intention of marrying her. I'm telling you, I was tricked. Just stop. When are you going to stop making excuses about everything? You started all this. Face up to what you did and be responsible. I'm no good without you, Ella. You were no good when you were with me, Lucas. You're hopeless. Don't say that. You said you'd always be here for me. Don't give up on me. That's when I thought our wedding vows meant something. Besides, you said I was a cold, heartless person. Maybe you were right. I guess you were right about a lot of things. Everything happens for a reason. God knows best. After that, I discussed the situation with Caden's grandparents, and it was finally decided that they would raise him. Because I contacted Lucas's boss, where it got out about his affair and secret child out of wedlock. The rumors spread like wildfire, making it difficult for Lucas to show his face at work. He ended up quitting his job and starting a new one. Of course this is a given, but he is paying Ava's parents child support every month. So I'm glad he's fulfilling at least the minimum responsibilities as a father. And although Lucas dragged things out, our divorce was eventually finalized. I was given a little extra in the split thanks to clear evidence of his being unfaithful, and I got a little alimony to boot. He kept begging me to change my mind and tried to delay the process, but I had absolutely no feelings left for him whatsoever. At the time, I felt overwhelmed with everything and was worried about my irresponsible ex-husband taking care of a child. I do think it was a little underhanded of me to contact her parents directly, but I can't say I regret it. Thanks to that, Caden is living happily with his grandparents now. I couldn't believe Lucas managed to deceive me so completely for over three years. How could I be so naive? It's going to take time for me to heal and forgive myself. But I don't want to let Lucas's actions keep affecting me. Now, I'm living life to the fullest, trying new things every day, and enjoying every minute. I think the best revenge I can get on my cheating ex-husband is forgetting him and being happier than he could ever be.